I would definitely have to say that one of my favorite aspects about the Star Wars franchise has got to be the idea of family. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, looking at The Force Awakens, they really, you know, kind of experimented with this idea greatly between the Solo family, such as Ben, Leia, and Han. And that's one thing that I really loved about The Force Awakens was how they showed us the struggle between all three characters in the Solo family. Now looking past all of this, you know, in The Last Jedi, they focused a little bit more on Rey's parents and the idea that they are indeed nobody, hence Rey is essentially nobody special or of significance per se. But going into Episode 9, apparently J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio have different plans for Rey's lineage as a whole. Now, as you all know, these past couple of months or so, we've been hearing about Rey's father and her parents on and off, about them being a more significant significant piece of the overall plot of Star Wars Episode 9. And looking at what we have been going over, you know, when it comes to all the different set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions involving Rey and her father, one of which has all to do with a description of Rey as an adult in a new uniform that's a blend of both black and gray, holding hands with an older man on a desert world during the daytime that may or may not be Jack. The man has a ponytail and a light scar on his forehead and wears a brown robe. In back of Rey are Finn and Poe with BB-8 staring at Rey and this character that seems to be her father, as the face resembles her greatly. The man hands Rey a locked wooden box as he kisses her and walks away before First Order ships enter the atmosphere as well as Kylo Ren's shuttle. So, this is the thing, alright? A lot of people are very interested in Rey's lineage in Episode 9. And the thing here is this, alright? I think that this pretty much tells us, if this actually does end up in the finalized version of the movie, that Rey's father is indeed alive, because it does indeed go over how both Finn and Poe and BB-8 are witnessing Rey in front of this figure, holding hands with him, as the man hands her this wooden box with something locked inside of it and this is the moment in time in which Kylo Ren and his forces enter the atmosphere of this planet. Now this also lines directly up with what we actually have been going over for all the scenes that they are shooting over in Jordan. We do know that Oscar Isaac, uh, John Boyega, and even Daisy Ridley are all shooting scenes there as of right now over in Jordan for one of the major sequences in episode 9. So whatever planet that this is, it's going to be a significant part of the story. And how we have been hearing about Ray's father on and off, and how, you know, there's going to be a better, you know, story about Ray's lineage in Episode 9 than the past two films, I think is one thing to look forward to for sure. Now, like I say, the fact that, you know, Ray is actually in front of this figure, and how apparently it's described that this figure resembles Ray greatly, and how both, you know, and how both Finn, Poe, and BB-8 are behind her, it tells us that this is indeed during present time. So this is during the events of Episode 9, and not in the form of a flashback or a vision or anything like that. So the thing here is this, when we're looking at episode 9 specifically, we do know that J.J. Abrams wants to really end this movie on a very satisfying note to a lot of fans around the world. He's really trying his very best in order to make it a very unique ending and create a very good story for the character of Rey that we have never seen before, not just in the sequels, but also in the originals and the prequels. JJ and Chris Terrio are really aiming at doing something very unique when it comes to a Star Wars film, and I think that's one thing that a lot of fans are really looking forward to. But as for Rey's father, you know, in The Last Jedi, Kylo Ren does tell her that they were nobody and that her father's grave is on Jakku, right? We know that. So, was he lying to her? That's the big question. Was Kylo Ren lying to Rey? Now, we don't know for sure, but Rey at least, you know, told the truth to herself that they were nobody. But was she just convinced about that, or was she just saying that? We really don't know for sure. Now, of course, Ryan Johnson set it up where Rey's parents are nobodies and that they are dead and that Rey is essentially nobody of significance in this story. Kind of like not being like a Luke Skywalker or Anakin Skywalker figure. 
But going into episode 9, we do know that JJ and Chris Terrio, they're really trying their very best at creating a very detailed lineage for the character of Rey. And that's one thing that I think episode 9 has going for it right now, is to learn more about Rey's past, who her parents are, and exactly who she is, Rey's identity. I think that there's a real reason as to why her last name is Hidden. I can't think of any other idea than the fact that maybe they just don't know exactly what to do with her lineage and they're kind of holding it off and playing it by ear as to exactly who she's really going to be in episode 9. But guys, let me know what you think about all of this below in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.